Hi and welcome to Logic Today. Today we're going to talk about various different types of USB devices. Now the USB device, which is the Universal Serial Bus, is a standard that was introduced to replace what was a great mass of different devices. Now back in the day when I was a hardware engineer, I used to need to carry things like um, a parallel cable, a 21 pin, a 9 pin, a gender bender, a male and female adapter in my bag. So it helped me just carry out my job because there were so many different interfaces for different devices. So what the USB device did was standardise all these things and that is absolutely brilliant. Because now you can like just take one cable along and you can connect to things like your mice, your keyboard, your digital camera, your external hard drive. And you can connect these things really easily to things like your PDA your mobile phone, your computer, your um, video games, and a console. So it was absolutely brilliant from an engineering point of view, but it's worked out to be brilliant from all of our points of view. Um, but it's kind of getting busy in the market, you've probably noticed, and they're becoming more and more different types of USB devices. And what you're starting to see in the market are five main players of USB connectors. You've got your USB A connector, which is your standard USB connector. We're all used to the A connector. Um, that will be your USB A connector. Um, and you see these all computers come with a USB A slot, and that connects your computer, say, to your mobile phone. Um, but then you also got your USB B connector which is um, a standard which connects your um, printer to your computer and you've got your USB mini A standard which is no longer used but you've got your USB mini B standard which is this one and we're all used to that for connecting our mobile phones to our printers this cable is pretty standard in most households nowadays but now there are two new standards that just come out. There's your micro A, which is facilitating smaller devices because you're getting really tiny devices. And you've got your mini micro B standard, which is replacing your mini B standard. It's getting all very complicated. But they are USB, they're all standard and they are right across the market. So hopefully it will work out in time. But you're also getting a new device, which I think is absolutely great, which I also somehow lost, which I think is absolutely great. And that's your USB flash drive. They've got various different names. Um, it's just a storage device. Because back in the day when I first started with computers, all storage with devices were um, five and, I can't remember, was it five and a half, five and a quarter? There were these massive things and then you went through your three and whatever, and now you've got these, and these are absolutely great, because presently you now can buy a USB flash storage device that can carry up to four gig of data, um, and can be written over a million times, and is durable and won't degrade for up to 10 years. So they're absolutely brilliant little things, um, and they can be used for so many things. Um, as a system administrator, um, I would carry so much data, so many da data that you needed just to carry out your everyday working life on these things. Um, but you can also use them to store small applications. A lot of forensic, um, computer forensic guys and girls are using them to carry things like coffee. Coffee is absolutely brilliant because you can actually carry a, co a copy of coffee on this which allows you to upload and download data which is not corrupted and therefore can still be used as evidence and you'll find Backtrack 4 also allows that. Um, but one of the brilliant, brilliant things that you can do with these things is you can use them to carry live data. Now if you work in a network operation centre or an environment like that uh, where you don't have a dedicated computer or a dedicated desk, these things are great because they allow you to um, basically have your own system set up on your computer. You plug this in and you do a live boot. But 
that's another area and I will be talking about that in my next um, how to but for now thanks for coming and I hope to speak to you soon bye